Many vehicle makers have specific weld inspection criteria for their brand. Honda Motors, who builds Honda and Acura vehicles, is one of those vehicle makers. Honda Motors Service Information has published procedures for performing destructive weld testing on squeeze-type resistance spot welds, or STRSW. Before making any STRSW on a vehicle, a test weld should be made using materials of similar thickness and strength to those being welded in the vehicle repair. Studying the body repair manual will help you understand how many unique welds will be made. It is very common to make multiple practice welds for the different panel configurations in your repair, even if you are only replacing one panel. Here we have a two-plate STRSW on a pair of coupons. Zinc-rich weld-through primer has been applied to the mating surfaces before welding, just like it will be in the repair process. Honda Service Information calls for STRSW panels to be destructed using the twist method. To perform the destructive test, we will place one coupon in the vise and twist off the second panel. Once the panels have been twisted apart, we will need to take some measurements. First, we need to know the thickness of the thinner panels. In this case, the thinner panel is 1.38 millimeters thick. Once we know the thickness of the thinner panel, we can plug this number into Honda's formula of equal to or greater than 4.5 times the square root of the material thickness. This gives us the minimum nugget or hole size. In this case, we calculate the minimum by entering 4.5 times the square root of 1.38, which gives us 5.29. Now that we know, our nugget or hole measurements must be at least 5.29 mm to pass the destructive test, we can begin to measure the diameters of our welds that were destructively tested. Honda Motors allows for full plug fracture, which is when the weld nugget pulls completely out of one of the test pieces, as well as partial plug fracture, where only part of one panel is separated. If the spot weld fractures between the panels, called interfacial fracturing, and no nugget is found, it automatically fails, and the settings will need to be adjusted and another test weld made. When we measure the diameter, we want to measure two dimensions and take the average as the calculated diameter. This accounts for welds that are not perfectly round. As you can see, this weld passes the inspection because the weld nugget or hole is greater than the calculated minimum of 5.29 mm. The same principle applies to 3-plate and 4-plate STRSW. Here we are twisting the 3-plate STRSW apart. This is commonly done in two steps, one panel at a time. Now we can measure the plug fracture or partial fracture nuggets and compare them with the formula. Again, we are using the thickness of the thinner panel for our calculations. The four-plate STRSW is a little more challenging to separate, but a little patience and persistence allows us to separate all four panels. Again, we measure the diameter of the hole or nugget and compare it to the minimum we calculated using the formula. Destructive weld testing is a very important step in the structural repair process. Always follow the vehicle maker's service information as well as the equipment maker's recommendations for proper setup and performance. The process mentioned only applies to Honda and Acura vehicles. Please see our other videos for other manufacturers' recommendations on their vehicles. Some mathematical formulas can be intimidating. If you would prefer, you can use this simple chart to identify the weld nugget size requirements instead. It has been made using the Honda-provided formula.